Traffic has almost returned to normal after an oil tanker caught fire and burned for close to an hour on I-10 near downtown Mobile today. The on and off ramps at Texas Street remain closed right now. The fire sent up huge flames and large plumes of black smoke into the sky. Crews are out right now checking the road for any damage to make sure that it's safe for cars. Our Dana Winter joins us now live from the scene there near Texas Street. And Dana, any idea yet on how this crash happened? Right now, we do not know what started this fire. We actually spoke with one woman who says she's lucky she wasn't hurt, but she was very scared. Since there was fire, we knew we better get a, a distance out of the way. Donna Cunningham says she was inside the office when her coworker came in in a hurry, saying she needed to get out. He ran outside and looked around the back of the building and saw flames and realized there was a truck that had turned over and it could explode. The two quickly made their way out of the office, located right next to where the tanker was on fire. We ran down the street and st stayed way out of the way. The smoke got so bad, we kept moving back further back down the street. That's two blocks. Cunningham tells us the flames on the hill looked huge. They looked bigger because it was the grass burning up the hill behind where we work. And so, of course, the flames look bigger from a distance. She tells us even after she was allowed to go back to work, flames kept popping up. We got back in the office and saw grass starting to burn again, but the fire truck was on it immediately and put it out. Cunningham tells us one tree on the back of the property caught on fire, but other than that, the business sustained no damage. Reporting live out here in Mobile tonight, Dana Winter, WKRG News 5. All right, hang in there, Dana. News 5 was first on the scene and first on the air. As this story broke, Alan Seals was on assignment when he came across the flames. He jumped on Facebook Live. More than 20,000 people watched. So when breaking news happens, make sure you turn to News 5 for local coverage you can count on.